Greetings and welcome to a mini episode of Whining Away with Corey and Ray. I'm Ray. Okay. To my left is Corey. And today we're going to talk about a couple of wines that we've been given so that uh, we can share it with you, right? Absolutely. Diatom, right? So the 2018 Diatom Chardonnay. Bar M Vineyard. Los Alamos Valley, Santa Barbara County, um, Greg Brewer is uh, the winemaker here. It's 76 Chardonnay planted over 20 years ago and uh, 93 points. Robert Parker, $21 a bottle. What are you getting? Well, this is a little, a little unique. I mean, if, if you look here, it explains that it's... Fermented at low temperatures. Yeah. Small stainless steel tanks. Coupled with inhibited malolactic fermentation and short hose transportation. So it's intended to capture Chardonnay in its most raw, carnal state. So this is going to be something you've never tasted before. I would agree. I mean, it's... Uh... It's not super oaky by any stretch, but it's not super citrusy. Not at all. It's got a great mouth feel to it. I mean, for the price point, it's something, if you want something very different, and it's 100% certified sustainable. So it is definitely something different. And I mean, for $21, that's a standout. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so for Chardonnay lovers, this is a go-to. I don't know how easy it would be to find, but if you can find it, buy it. Okay, what's next? Uh, the next is the Cambria, Catherine's Vineyard. I've actually sold this one in the past. This is Santa Maria Valley. Well-structured, a smoky uh, richness to the mineral-infused apple and pear tart flavors. Um, there's also a spicy finish. With a creamy texture, 91 points, wine spectator, about $16 a bottle. Yeah, I'd say that's about 16, 17. And this made uh, wine spectators top 100 in 2019. Now this is easier to find. This would be easier than, the, uh, I think, than the first one, yes. Definitely get the smoke. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, something that uh, is indicative of the barrel. So for those of you who like that barbecue, smoky, I mean, you know, let's go is, to the fire pit. This is a, a typical California Chardonnay. Uh, but once again, for the price, I think very, very good. All right. And while we're talking Cambria State Winery, we're going to go to a red for the red wine lovers. So in this area, they're known for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So it's no surprise that that's the two varietals that we're uh, pouring from Cambria. We have a 2017 Julia's Vineyard Pinot Noir from Santa Maria Valley. Um, this has dried cherry, toasted sage, roasted strawberries. Um, this got a 94 from the wine enthusiast, which- I mean, and that's amazing. That's a, an impressive score. At $18 a bottle. So, I mean, you're not paying a hefty price for something that won. But you pick up herbs in this, like... You do. Thyme and sage and not just straight berry. Toasted sage. Toasted sage, okay. Mm -hmm. Snappy and light. A lot of people say that about me. Yeah. Not so much light. I was going to say snappy, I don't know. Yet with tons of weighty stuffing. <laughs> That's the rest of the description of Ray. Anyway, flavors of bright raspberry. <laughs> Wild thyme with a vanilla kissed finish. No, I mean, that's a really nice California. It is. It's very good. Now, do you sell this? Uh, where I work now, no, I don't sell this right now. What do you know about this region, Santa Maria Valley? That, Like I said, they're known for Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs and... Uh, for a good reason. Okay. Uh, for, well, for again, money. we want to thank Teresa Grimes for sharing this with us, the Jackson Family Winery for sharing these fantastic wines with us. We, 
go out, search them, message us, find them, and uh, try them. Open your palate, open your minds, and cheers.